On 6 tonight, the man made famous by turning the better part of a life behind bars into a successful bread empire is once again on a path to recovery. The founder of Dave's Killer Bread, he of course shocked the community when he was arrested last November. Deputies say he led them on a chase and then crashed into two patrol cars in Washington County, injuring several deputies. Well, now he's pledging to make a new start. Amy Fraser reached out to Dave Dahl today to find out what was behind that bizarre incident? And Amy, what'd you find out today? Kelly, Dave tells me that he's now getting the help that he needs. At the time of the incident, he says he had stopped taking his medication for mental illness and was also struggling with alcohol abuse. Now more than ever, he hopes sharing his story and his comeback will help others. <laughs> Dave Dahl showed me the guitar skills he learned during his 15 years in and out of prison during a candid interview in 2008. At the time, the Dave's Killer Bread founder opened up to me about his past struggles with depression and meth. That was the boss. That was the monster. A life he turned around, something I found out he's trying to do again. Dave is in New York City for a company board meeting, so I spoke with him today using FaceTime. What do you want people to know? I want people to know that I'm really just a good guy, and I am a guy who likes to make a difference with the things that he does, and that's my hope is to be able to get back and, and, uh, and be a part of making the world a better place again. I wanted to know what was going on in his life in November when deputies say Dave led them on a chase and rammed two police cars. Dave tells me he's sorry to the people he hurt. I had just stopped taking all my meds the uh, same week that things went crazy. Hmm. kind of thought I didn't need them anymore. He says he's now addressing bipolar disorder. I, re I didn't realize I had this manic side to me. And uh, it led to a very strange, a very strange group of days. But I understand it now, and I'm working. I'm working and uh, accepting my my plight. Mm -hmm. I got medication. I got I got the right medication. Uh, Dave tells me he's now in therapy in and taking care of himself. I've come to grips, come to terms with mistakes that I've made. And, uh, whatever happens going forward, I'm ready for it. And of course, Dave is scheduled to go on trial with his criminal case in mm -hmm. October. And I asked him today if he's concerned about this possibility that he has of going back to prison again. Right, yeah. And he says, you know, he will make the most of whatever happens. Wow. I also want to let people know that he's out there on Twitter again. Mm. So that's a way you can kind of follow his journey. And uh, we've got a link to that at coin.com. Okay, sounds like he's at least doing a lot better than the last time we saw him. So many people pulling for him. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. All right, thank you, Amy.